Hello there. I'm Josh Co. I'm Matt Ben. And this is the Cock and Block. We're back with another video. This one was on request. We uh, had a friend of mine who requested uh, a song called Llama in My Living Room. My friend requested it a couple times, actually. This is from Joanne. By, I actually thought it was Aaron Chupa, but it looks like Aaron. I have no idea, but Little Sis and Nora. Little Sis Nora. Yeah. Do you know anything about this song at all? I don't know anything about it. Um, just going off of a friend's recommendation, um, we're going to do it even if it gets uh, copyright issues. Yeah, so, whatever we're doing. Because it. we're doing it without the notion of possible profit, just for a friend yeah. who wanted us to react and listen to it because she thought we would think it was neat. So, so I'm that's looking what, forward to it. That's what we're doing right here on the Cock and Blog. And if it's bad, we're never going to take your recommendations again. Never again. Never. Never. Okay, we're back. Don't let us down, Joanne. Don't let us down, Joanne. We're gonna Hopefully do this. this is a good one. Yeah, All I'm right. excited. Okay. All right, we're going to pop it up and share the video with y'all. Yep, let's, we're just going to do it. Dive right in. Dive right in. Aaron Chupa. Aaron Chupa. Aaron? Probably Aaron. Why does that make me hungry? Chalupa. Chupa means... Oh. oh, the sister is the star. You guys know Ron Jeremy, huh? <laughs> oh god, I don't want to see him though. You know the porn star? Yeah. <laughs> what? My neighbor, he looks just like him. Oh, Rude. And you know what the funny thing is? He doesn't have a fucking clue. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now let me tell you about this one time at his birthday party when shit went down. My neighbor's knocking and I open carefully. He looks a bit like Ronnie Jeremy. He's screaming at me, damn you little albatross. While he smells like chips and calvados. He said, what the hell is going on? What is that goddamn groan? That ain't no sound of rock and roll. I said, I'm so sorry, but I got this thing I have to show. They might be good for you to know. So I brought him inside, don't know why, but then suddenly he just passed out. I'm nervous. I'm legitimately nervous. That I got a llama in my living room, a llama in my living room, a llama in my 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 living room. I, I don't know what's happening. Um, uh, is, he, is, okay. I see the resemblance to Ron Jeremy. It's a that's little, funny. It, a little is, bit mean. Is the llama in the living room a euphemism for something? And I'm just not getting it. Uh, we're going to have to look it up afterwards. We might have to pause this after we're done and uh, take a look. We may have to do that and yeah. then come back. Yeah. Uh, it's hilarious. I actually kind of like it. It's fun. Oh, the auto-tune is killing me. Yeah, I mean, but she might not have sounded that good if she didn't. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> It's Whatever. Fun. Yeah, let's just go with it. I got a llama in my living room. I got a llama in my living room. She's an animal enthusiast. I respect it. I bet she follows the dodo. I saw my neighbor shaking on the floor. I've never seen a man like that before. He didn't even make it through my kitchen door. He must have thought it was a dinosaur. Then he opened up his eyes, screaming, I'ma kill that thing. Then his big arm started to swing. I tried to calm him down, told him, take it easy now. It's just my llama named Chow Chow. Then he raised up. He said, what? I said, I'm sorry, but I just can't stop. 
Um, I have a theory. I'm so confused. I have a theory. I don't know. There's going to be something. Okay, not. All right. All right. Let's pause for a second and let's go look. Well, but before see if we, we do that. the euphemism of this. I have a theory. I'm so confused. I have a theory about what it is. Okay. Um, I definitely cannot say it. Okay. And if I do say it and I'm wrong, let's just. Why don't we pause? You tell me. And then we'll, we'll be right back. We'll be back. All right, well. In conclusion. We have come to no conclusion. That was just a video that we watched. It happened. That was a thing. We don't know what it was about. Uh, so the, the principle of movie making is when you see a gun and see and it, it, scene it has one, to be used it, has to, it has to go off by, the by end, scene yeah. three, right? Uh, right. So we saw a lot of Ron Jeremy uh -huh. kind of symbolism with a neighbor who looks like him, but that gun didn't go off. My theory is that the llama well part my my theory was a little cruder actually but in doing some research i've doubted back maybe maybe well maybe the llama represents her sexuality her whether it be the physical right. aspect or right. the or her power or her power as a woman mm -hmm. um and it just scared scared the man i don't know i can't come up with anything she was so powerful that she scared the man i right. mean that's probably the right. most likely interpretation other than the fact that it's just absurd and he passed out because it's very weird to have a llama in your living room. Right. Alternately, um, yeah. girls got a llama in her living room. Yeah. Yeah. So no no need to overthink it. Yeah. Um, fun song, though. I did like it. I enjoyed it. It was fun. You liked it more than me, and that's okay. I liked it. Um, I, I, I did like the fact that they were auto-tuning a word and then using it as a beat. Yeah, that was meh, fun. Meh, 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 meh. meh. That was fun. That was amusing. That was amusing. Um, it wasn't. It, I like. I like something like this when you know somebody's not trying to be take themselves too serious. Yeah. You know, they're just having fun. Yeah, and they're from Sweden. I think that's what I, I saw. That yeah, that she's from Sweden or he's from, he's from Sweden. Sweden. Or... And their names are the reverse of each other. So Nora spelled backwards is, is Aaron or Aaron, yeah. however it's pronounced. Yeah. So how cool. That's very neat. Interesting. Yeah. All right, well, tell us more about this song. If you know more about mm -hmm. this song, let us and, know. And uh, we'd like to read more in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. See you next time.